Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the videos for the monthly. I know we are a bit behind, I apologize, but you guys already know my crazy ass schedule. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into the reading, I just wanna let you guys know, for those of you guys that shop on our online store, uh, we have a lot of restock that we've been working on. You'll be able to find your favorite uh, soaps on there, as well as specific candles that we have prepared through ceremonial rites. Uh, to empower and strengthen depending on the type of candle that you're looking for as you guys can see here and we also have a lot of your favorite oils now back on stock you'll be able to find all that information on our online store you can click the description link below or at the end of every video let's get into your reading gemini let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of march 2022 Let's get into it. Let's see what's unfolding. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please give us clarity and insight for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is unfolding for them for this month of March 2022? Give me the element of air with communication, element of element of earth with finances and career, the challenge with the element of fire, and communication, love, romance with the element of water. And finally, Spirit's message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get into it, Gemini. Let's see how you guys are doing for this month. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are being optimistic and positive, regardless of the craziness that's happening, happening around the world right now. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the Three of Swords. Gemini, there is a bit of hurt or difficulties that you may be currently dealing with for some of you guys could have been the loss of a loved one or dealing with some type of loss in regards to relationships or partnerships or connections like i said uh, for some of you guys could be very strongly regarding or dealing with the loss of a loved one <clears throat> all right when it comes to communication you have the six of cups here um being emotionally supported i feel that you guys are currently going through a situation that may be a bit difficult and putting a lot of strain in your heart uh there is a element of really being very much into relieving reliving the past uh for some of you guys it could be revisiting the past um or for others it could be a process of a healing that's happening right now Strongly for a lot of you guys, what I'm sensing is could be something that has to do with an anniversary coming up in regards to a loved one or someone that is no longer here in the physical plane. For others of you, it could be that you're currently going through some type of heartbreak, some type of uh, difficulty and being supported or uh, finding comfort in friends and loved ones that are currently surrounding you at this present time. The next card here that we have in regards to your finances and career is the justice card. So there are certain things that are being decided. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation that was a bit uh, challenging or a bit of a strife at work, uh, maybe even with the people that you surround yourself with or that you work with uh, in your business or career. Um, the scales are finally balancing. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, you will be, especially those of you guys that have experienced uh, almost being mistreated or treated unfairly. You're going to start to see things unfold in a way of people dealing with their karma or having to deal with consequences, especially those that went out of their way to make it difficult for you. Now, the next card that we have here in regards to the challenge is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is all to do with, with learning and what we've been taught or what we've been trained to believe. This is you really, uh, I feel like right now your belief system or something that has to do with your, how you view certain things are being challenged right now in regards to, is it serving you? Um, something that you've been taught or that you've been believing for a very long time, has it assisted, uh, assisted you? Has it helped you grow? Has it made you become a better person? If it hasn't, you may be tempted in the month of March to find a different practice or a different belief or to be a little bit more open instead of being stuck in the mud. For some of you guys, it could be as simplistic as putting in effect the law of attraction. For others of you, it could be greatly uh, shifting your belief system, like I said, or something that has to do with um, anything that has to do with holding on to beliefs that we come here preconditioned in early childhood. So again, 
I feel like a lot of you guys are being a little bit more open-minded to the universe and you, the way you view things or the way you viewed things up until now. All right, your next card here in regards to relationships, we have the Five of Pentacles. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you may be dealing with a situation where if you were dealing with someone and there was a bit of inconsistency or a bit of like questioning the situation, why aren't they answering me at specific times of the day or why are they only available to me in certain days? Um, a lot of red flags is what I'm seeing here. For some of you guys, it could be uh, realizing you're coming to the understanding that the person you were dealing with could have been in a committed relationship. They could have portrayed themselves as being single or if they are married, they could have been portraying themselves as, yeah, I'm married and we're living in the same in the same um, in the same home as an example, but we have nothing going on. And then you realize um, or something comes to the forefront where you're being enlightened about things that you were questioning or perhaps that you even doubted your intuition. Things are coming out to the open. So there is a bit of a feeling of being led astray or being deceived. And again, with the three of swords, for some of you guys could be dealing with if you are the married one or the one in a committed relationship, you could be dealing with a situation that uh, is pretty much challenging at the present time, your commitment or that relationship itself. Someone could have stepped out of the relationship. Um, and with the justice card, again, karma coming out to the open uh, to be able to uh, see things clearly and concisely for what they are and being able to make the rational decisions. Um, or the decisions now with the knowing or understanding. So again, the advice for the month of March is going to be um, to really take in the lessons that you've been going through, Gemini, because I feel like whether it feels right now like it's very difficult and like things are not going your way, that's quickly going to uh, change. And I feel that the reason why you're going through this is because Spirit's trying to show you uh, the hidden, the unknown, the things that are being done behind the scenes or even revealing to you people's true intentions and feelings. So again, whatever it is that you find out in the month of March, it's going to be very important and very crucial to take it for what it is, no longer making excuses for people's behaviors, but taking them just as they are or how they're presenting themselves to be. I want to wish you guys the very best. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. And for those of you guys that have been following, stay tuned. We have tons of new videos coming through. Till then, bye.